Um, I'd like to just briefly introduce on behalf of uh, Kamala Harris and myself uh, some distinguished, Cali well, the whole committee, that some distinguished Californians who are joining us here today. And I am so pleased to introduce Smokey Robinson. He is truly an American icon. While he was still in high school, he formed the group The Miracles and gave us such hits as Shop Around, Tears of a Clown, and I second that emotion. His later solo work earned him a Grammy for the song Just to See Her. Smokey Robinson has amassed 37 top 40 hits over the course of his illustrious career. He is a recipient of numerous accolades, including the Grammy Living Legend Award, the Kennedy Center Honors, and the National Medal of Arts Award from the President of the United States. As a singer, songwriter, and producer, he is uniquely positioned to speak about the impact of all three of the bills we're discussing today. How the Music Modernization Act will impact songwriters, how the Classics Act will impact singers, and how the AMP Act will impact producers. So, Smokey, we look forward to hearing what you have to say. I also want to recognize some additional great California singers in the audience. Mary Wilson, one of the founding members of the Supremes, who was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame of 1988. There she is. We, it's great to welcome you, Mary. Yeah. Darlene Love also has been inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and is listed in Rolling Stone's list of 100 greatest singers. Let's see a wave. Where is she? There she is. And also with us, is, and special for me, is Grammy Award nominee Dion Warwick, who is second only to Aretha Franklin for the most hits of any female vocalist of all time. Would you stand and give a wave? There she is. <laughs> and of course, Carla Redding Andrews, daughter of the iconic soul and R&B singer, Otis Redding, and executive director of his own foundation. So, I will yield to my colleagues.